Today we're going to show you how to tell if an email is legit. Email is the number one attack mechanism today. Why? Well, because it is the lowest cost and most reliable way to fool users. So today we're going to show you how to recognize the telltale indicators. Some are obvious and some take a bit more work. We'll be using this email here which looks as though it came from American Express. Let's start with the obvious things first. Today we'll be focusing on using Outlook. I'll be focused on that particular program. Others may come later if you request it. And I'll tell you how to send an email into us so that you can request the parts that you do want or other topics. So the first thing that we're going to look at is bad spelling. Notice the word authenticate here is obviously not spelled correctly. The second sign is bad grammar. Notice here the grammar is not particularly good. The third is an incorrect email source. Notice this comes from American Express, but the suffix at st-tel.net is not an American Express.com suffix. Number four is the attachment that's here is a bit suspect, especially in its title. And then last but not least, the email is one that I'm not expecting from American Express for any reason. But what if you're still unsure? You want to know, is there more information we can get to be sure that this is good or not? Yes, there is. We go up to the file menu here on this email and we'll select properties from right here. In the properties dialog box that results from this, we can see down here in the internet headers options more detailed information. So we're going to scroll down here to this point here and it shows the return path that this is coming from. This is coming from that st-tel.net -E site or server and notice it says precedence junk spam flag yes. So that's a concern additionally but here's the real information that will be helpful. Here the email shows it was received from this IP address. Now IP addresses, for those of you who don't know, are equivalent roughly to the address of your house. It gives a specific pointer to a specific location. And this IP address can be used to determine where the email originated. Now that we have the IP address of the server which sent the email in question, we can go to a website just like this one or one similar to it, whatismyip.com is a good one, and then click on IP Lookup, and you can see I've already keyed in the IP address that we found in from that email, and then I'll go to the results which I've already discovered, and you'll notice that the IP address that we found came from the city of Catskill, New York. We've been able to determine prior to this that the email server address that American Express uses for its information is not in Catskill, New York, and it is not at that IP address. Certainly I could show you how that's done, but I don't know that that's pertinent for your usage here. So given this information, I would say this did not come from American Express address, did not come from American Express email server, did not come from the proper location for that and therefore this is not a legit email. I hope that this has helped you. Uh, thank you very much.